Oh, Go dear, ahead, Cynthia. Yeah, tell tell the people at <laughs> no, home. You just continue this conversation. Of the, poll, of the poll that you want to do one day on on the television set here. Go ahead. No. <laughs> it's too if, late. They if, don't want to hear this. Ellie, if you at home only knew what she was subjecting me and my buddy to here just Please. a few minutes ago. They so, know you, Pete. I, anyway. Oh, <laughs> they know you very, very oh, well. I, well, they he, do. He was kind of an innocent bystander True. on this one. For the first time in, in my life. <laughs> okay. We have North Texas Giving Day. It's 10, 18, mm -hmm. and 26 Still seconds tied. and counting. We have, we have a, about oh, an hour and 40 minutes or so. Right. Yep. We still have time to give, and we're, we're paired up with them with Santa's Helper. So I want you to take a look at this right here. I want you to aim your camera right there. Uh, it's, and we're almost at our goal. Our, we're really, really close because we have 50,000 kids in North Texas that we, gives, get, that we give gifts to each and every year. And this is our 55th year of Santa's Helpers. 50,000 kids, our goal is $50,000. Yeah, We're close, we we're really close, but we need your help. So we want you to start your holiday shopping early. We're getting a head start on Santa's Helpers this year. Right there, aim that phone, your camera, right at that QR code. We want to make Santa's Helpers bigger and better than we've ever done before. So that's why we partnered with North Texas Giving Day for this special Santa's Helpers September initiative. You can donate through midnight tonight. All donations are tax deductible. Your dollars help us provide toys to more than 50,000 kids here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and North Texas. It's gifts for kids for Christmas. Okay, just think of that. Christmas, the little one's not going to have a gift under the tree. Wouldn't it make your heart just warm and wouldn't it make you feel good to just participate? So aim your camera right there at that QR code. We're, we're close to our goal, 50,000 kids, $50,000. We need your help. It's just a couple of bucks will help get a gift for a kid this Christmas, uh, this Christmas season. So we've all been doing our part. For those that have, thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those that are doing it right now, our thanks go out to you as well. Okay, I want to talk about the warm temps. We hit 96 degrees today. The normal high is 88. We have mostly clear skies across the area. Had a couple little sea breeze showers down here in uh, South Texas today, anywhere from San Antonio all the way down into the valley. A couple little thunderstorms across parts of the Midwest that are in the process of fizzling out. It's all pretty quiet right now across the area. Big ridge, this is kind of a summertime weather pattern. Big ridge across the uh, uh, the state of Texas, our heat domes in place as we head through the upcoming weekend. It starts to shift off to the east. A weak front will move through. So I have some pretty hot temperatures in our forecast as we head right through Saturday and Sunday. So hot through the weekend. Joe, is she telling you what she was talking about? It's appalling. And for me to say something's appalling, I've seen most everything. But appalling. Some temperatures, some locations will have highs close to 100 and then a little bit of rain next week, some cooler temperatures next week. It's not a massive cool down, but it's certainly a lot better than the 98 and 99 I have in my forecast as we head through the next couple of days. So with that said, for tonight, mostly clear, dry and warm, light winds tonight, 77 is the low, 99 tomorrow. Many locations will have an air temperature of 100 and we'll all have heat index values tomorrow in the triple digits. So a dry day, a hot day, and I wish we had some breezy south winds, but we have some light winds around tomorrow. So at least we don't have, uh, be nice to have that little bit of a breeze to mix things up. Fall begins on Sunday, and that's also our last day of 90, mid 90 degree, mid to upper 90 degree temps in the forecast. A little bit of rain as we head through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, and some cooler temperatures. So by the middle of next week, and then in the days that follow that, Middle to upper 80s are in the forecast, so that's a lot better than the upper 90s. Fall begins Sunday. The State Fair begins a week from tomorrow. And the State Fair Classic is the day after the opening of the State Fair. It's that Saturday, September 